Hi friends, let's try to complete practice project 2 in this series. So the task is to load Excel files into SQL Server database table on daily basis. So when we receive this task from our manager, we feel the task is very simple. That is because it says only load Excel files into our table on daily basis. So but when we go further into the details, we come to know when we receive any changes in the old records, then what we have to do? So we asked this question to our manager and he, he said, update for columns that may be frequently get changes and maintain history for some columns that may be critical and impacts on other metrics and don't change anything but record all those exceptions arised in the fixed key columns. So he, he actually didn't mention those columns for each category but he asked us to analyze these columns based on the files he provided and also by checking with the source teams. So we decided we have to design an SSIS package as incremental loading. So this is the file he has provided to me to analyze and find out these details and also for uh, development purpose. So let's open this file and let's try to find out the columns based on our analysis and our common sense. Okay, so when we open the files, we have this header. So we have ID column, segment, country, product, and uh, the sales information and all these details, a date for that. So in the first look, we can say ID is looking like a unique column, right? So, and based on the data, sample data checking, we come to know ID is a unique column. So let's copy that column as a unique column. So the lookup column that we identified by analyzing the data is ID. So let's say business column, business key, or our unique identifier that we identified from this is ID. And segment, country, product, and discount brand. So these three looking like, uh, and this date. These three and the date looking like fixed columns. So because when we receive this information on that date, in the next date, we won't receive, we feel like we won't receive those these details again in the tomorrow file. So, so we can say these four columns are unique. I mean, fixed columns, which may never change. So let's put these details into fixed columns. So these ones segment, country, product, and date. So these are the columns we identified as fixed key columns. And other columns, discount band, unit sold, manufacturing, sale price, and all these details, discount band. So usually discount band may change uh, day to day, not afternoon, morning like that, right, usually. so. If we receive this change, let's say we know that it actually doesn't change regularly or frequently. But what if we receive any change? Then the change in the discount band or discounts impacts on the actual sales price, right? So it, it shows much impact on the other metrics. So we identified discount and discounts are the impacting metrics. So we have to maintain the history for those changes. So let's keep, let's have those details, those columns in history columns. So history is discount, band, and discounts. And other one changes. So 
it's very likely that we may receive changes in the unit sold manufacturing sales price cross sales sales cogs profit and other details so these columns may not change or sorry these columns may change uh, based on the time like suppose we receive this file every day evening at 4 pm but after 4 pm if uh, more sales happened then we receive those adjustments in the next day right so that means the and this file is a consolidated aggregated file for each for each date level so we have to update those changes in our table in our destination table right so it's very likely to receive changes in this sales metrics measures so let's have those details in this update section like units sold manufacturing sale price gross sales sales cogs profit okay and other details like month month name and year these are also comes into fixed because it's related to date and we can keep those as fixed right so let's uh, fill those details as well in the fixed attributes month number month name and year so we our analysis is completed initial analysis is completed by now so i can we can go back to our manager and uh, we can present him the analysis that we have done on the source file sample he provided so when we present this information to our manager most likely he accept if uh, these are correct or he propose any changes like these are not changed and uh, no need to uh, have history on these columns or something whatever changes you would like to have in this he might propose you or your source uh, departments the actual members that provides this source file may give you more details on this or may wanted to have more changes on your analysis so this is how we come to a conclusion so and we will start the actual development so our analysis is completed and our source data is looking good now so let's go to the package design in the next video if you have any questions please comment if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching my video